In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to fix Windows 11 update KB5066835 error code or KB5066128 not installing error code 0x800F0983. So this is happening for many users right now, then how we can fix it. So let me directly get into it. So first of all, we need to retry for update or restart your PC and try again. So first of all, just go over here, search for the settings and you have to click on the settings. Now from here, you have to directly navigate to the Windows update. If you're having any kind of retry option here instead of resume, just retry it. Then you have to check if that is working. You're fine with it. But if that is not the case, just restart a computer. To do so, go over here in the power icon, click on the over here, do the restart. After the restart is done, we have to launch, check with update or not, or you can move to the next one. That is step two, we need to pause and restart the update. To do so, we have to go over here, search for the settings itself, click on the settings. Now from here, click on uh, what you need to do, just click on the Windows update. And from here, you have to set the Windows pause update. You will be having an option to enable the pause up update. You will be having an option here. So over here, you have to just set this to particular duration. For example, one week, two weeks, three weeks, or four weeks, five weeks, whatever it is fine. And just set this for particular duration. Then you have to check with the game. Sorry, check with your update. Next one is all about, we need to start or restart the app readiness, Windows update and background intelligent transfer service. So just go over here, search for the services and click on the services. Now from here, just wait for it. Now first one, go to the app readiness service, right click on this one, go to the properties, make sure it is automatic. And if the service status is stopped, just click on the start. Now wait for it and you have to close it. Similarly, go to background transfer, intelligent transfer service, right click and go to the properties. You have to change this to automatic, go for apply, go for the start. That is very important. Once it is done, you have to right click, just go for a restart and you have to check. Make sure and scroll down to the bottom, then click on windows update. Now from here, right click and go to the properties, change this to automatic and go for the service state it should be running. Go for apply and go for okay. Go over here, right click and go to the restart. Once the restart is done, you have to check with it. So that is also very important. Next one is all about, we need to run the SFC and DISM command. So copy the first command that DISM, you can copy the entire command together. So go over here, search for the CMD. Make sure that you run this as an administrator. That is very important. So run as administrator. Now just go for yes. Now we have to paste the command that is the first one we have to try with sfc scan now then you have to try with dsm online you have to copy this particular command then you have to paste it so but this is running so once this is complete you only need to try for the dsm command make sure and use the microsoft update catalog that is very important so for this we need this particular value that is you have to know what is there so if you're having the kb506835 Go to the link that I'll be giving in the video description, that is update catalog. You have to go over here, paste it and you have to search for it and you have to check if that is the issue, then you can fix it from here. Download the version that x64 based one here. But if your error is KB5066128, copy this, go over here, remove this and paste it. Then you have to download this and you have to check. Next one is all about what we need to do is use option fix problem using Windows update. So just go over here, search for the settings and click on the settings. Now from here, we have to navigate to system, scroll down and navigate to recovery. Click on the recovery. There is an option called fix problem using Windows update. Just go for reinstall now. After the reinstall now is done, you can just go back and you can check. Next one is we need to reset the Windows component. So copy this particular command that I'll be giving in the video description. So you don't have to worry, just copy this. Then copy this and minimize this. Go over here in the desktop, right click and go to show more options, go to new. Now we have to create a text document. Once the text document is created, just get into this. Now from here, just open your text document. Now we have to, sorry, just go over here, paste the text document, go to the file, go to save as, make sure that you change this to old file, 
save the file to the desktop and rename the folder as woofix.bat. Create this and go for save. Once you save it, as you can see, a, this will be created. So let me delete this. And this is the file. So right click, run as administrator. Then we have to do a restart on your system. Then you have to check. Next one is all about, we have to go over here. We need to try after this restart the PC. That's very important. Use media creation tool to update the windows. Go to this particular link that I'll be providing in the video description. Use Windows Installation 11 Assistant to update the windows. Also use Windows 11 Installation Media Assistant tool to update the windows as well. Both is very important. Once done, you have to check and this is what you have to do. And I hope this kick video is helpful. Most probably that's going to help you guys when it comes to how to fix the issue. That is, uh, you are having the trouble with Windows 11 KB update this particular error. And I hope it. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe. That's it. Bye.